Welcome back to Factorio Mega Base in a Book. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing with this. We took a massive leap of faith and uh, just upgraded our base to 7,500 7, signs per minute at the end of last episode. So let's have a look and see if we are still somewhat here. Yes, that is uh, as much time has passed. We're still processing it here. We're still making the 7,500. And now the question becomes, what is not working? And we already have the first very interesting problem here. Uh, this one, why did you not work? And uh, this is actually, it's actually up here. Uh, this is, you can see it's down to 2.5 and we have two trains being requested, only one inbound because we only have four stone trains. So we do want to make uh, two things today, uh, two things sort of uh, objectives. One is to make sure that we patch some of the holes here. Uh, one being, as we just noticed, the stone. The other one being sulfuric acid. Uh, batteries, uh, no, sorry, uh, plastic. I don't think that's something we can, we need to fix. I honestly think plastic is good enough. I just think that it's it takes a while to saturate. That's my hypothesis. And iron, we can't fix that until we get to the other point. The other point is, I think that biters have outlived their relevance in this series. You can see here, they are attacking. It doesn't do anything. They can never breach. They can never do anything. They just eat up my precious, precious updates and just give these annoying warnings. I don't think they're relevant to have in the game anymore. Um, I think we'll, uh, so we'll also, uh, I will also show you what is the impact of removing biters, like entirely removing them from the game and thereby recovering some updates. And when we do this, well, yes, there will be some limitation. You won't have the, the occasional artillery shooting out but i honestly don't think that's very much of a focus if you're playing on a death world then sure that will be sort of a continuous thing can you sort of expand and claim more territory and and defend it but once you get to the end game you can always defend it it's not a problem you'd have to play like ramparts or some other uh, angels bob uh, bob's mods bob's enemies or something like that to make it any kind of, of challenge so um, even on a death world at this point yeah i'll slap some walls on the outside but it wouldn't make any difference at all it would just be more of these annoying beep beep sounds so uh, also flamers probably so what we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, taking some of these locations we're going to need some more stone because um if we look at the stone patches well we have this one this is working and how much do we actually have here we have this one has 67,000. This one has 114,000. So this actually looks more like a problem of trains than it a problem of anything else. So we can just throw in two more trains, I think. There. And we will get this part. Uh, let's see how many we do have. So if we have four stations and six trains, that's not, I don't really like that. I don't really like it. So what we want to do is we want to take this part out. That one. And that was another, we always have to sort of once in a while go in here and remember to refresh it. Let's take another one down here and another one out here, I guess. It's gonna take a lot. Well, let's take, at least take this one. Well, is this also an option? It could be an option. Let's at least start with this one. And I will be going here. We'll just make the outline of it. These two. And just aligning it to this, because why not? And then some of this will go out because it's the local setup for whatever I had before. There we go. I will take this one. That's going to go up. Let's start sending my spatotrons down here. They should be good. Then I do know that I have a little blueprint here that we can use. I'm going to take all that out. Probably this one as well. And the good thing about this is... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this is not actually that good. There. That's going to turn into nine, isn't it? Yeah, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Yep, we don't like... Having nine belts here. So easy to fix that. Good. So that's going to get done. And then what we need is a 
4x4 or 8x8 eight 8x8 eight eight splitter. That one. I can just make the, the frame of this and then really shouldn't be much to it. There. And this will also go out. I can use this as a template for here. That's working. And then just hook these up. Again, that's super easy. And then they need to go into these locations. And once we have that, then basically we are good to go. And the last one is out here. All right. Well, I think that's pretty quick. We can make this. There. That's it. Ah, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not that fast. But if I do this as well. All right. So with this done, then all we need is just getting it in here. And I'll just make one more and then get uh, this one built. So we should have enough stone at that point. So here we are. We have uh, now upgraded these two locations. We have more stone here and we have more stone here here as well and yeah no there was this one i just built yep they look crisp and they look like a functional if we look at it i've also added eight trains there are now eight stops and eight trains i think that's a good good setup here uh, if we look at this one for example which is kind of interesting because this is the closest one now that there are more trains then this one will be uh, used fully in the beginning so each one of these can only take 30 it's like sixteen thousand. so it will just be Focusing on consuming the ones that are closest. That's why they're stacking up at this location. Anyway, that should uh, definitely solve our purple science problems for now. Still, iron is a problem. Still, yellow science is not really a problem. I, I dare say it's not really a problem because it's just that we started yellow science right before we started consuming. So we started, we're now building yellow science at 8,100 and we're consuming that 7,500. So it's going to take a while to build up a stockpile that we want get it to a steady state. Uh, we don't have blue circuits uh, as warnings, that's good. But uh, plastic is still haunting us, but I think I'm gonna focus on sulfuric acid, which should be an easy thing to, to do. Again, uh, let's not go into so much detail with it when it is mainly just taking those two and then basically saying, you know what? They are now gonna go up to this location. And of course it can't be done because we have some water, uh, water parks over there. Uh, but that's still something if I can take take this and then I am going to include tiles but not that then take it up here and that will be stamped down as well um, that's going to be difficult it really shouldn't be there so that gets the water things solved as well. I'm going to bring my blueprint, my... Yeah, what are they called? All right, let's let's uh, let's build this. This should be pretty easy to build. Once we have that, then we will have enough sulfuric acid and also enough lubricant and sulfur as well. Unfortunately, they have to just pair up. That's just the way it is. Uh, I did see a copper indicator at some point, but the fact that it says plastic is still... It is what it is. Um, I don't think we can fix plastic like that it would be nice though it would be nice wouldn't there isn't there like one place that we could fix we could add some plastic up here you know what damn it i'm gonna make another plastic that's just something i'll I'll do so that we can at least say it's only the iron that's holding us back let's uh come back when that's done so we've now built one more of these uh copper uh this Plastic locations, it took uh, quite a while because uh, even before I started up, I have not uh, initiated it yet. I want to make sure that all of the oil is in the in the tanks and it is uh, having a full one just ready and waiting. And they are all here, 200,000, 200,000, good. So now I feel ready to initiate it. That goes like that. And then I can bring all of you all the way back. Now, what I will be... Doing, uh, shoot, that's a very bad place. I'm hanging out here. Okay, I'm gonna need to hitch a ride home. Let me get home from here.
that one. And do I have... I can steal one of these. There. And you need to go home. By all the way home, or drive all the way home. There. All right, so while we're doing this, <clears throat> so uh, let's look at the other locations. So the I have 39 trains and 39 stops. That's kind of not really enough, I think. Uh, so what I'll do is I will get a few more. Get that back here. Okay, that's not been set up. So let's add a few more trains. I have added some trains. Uh, let's look at the plastic as well. How many plastic trains do we have? I think I've set up enough plastic trains. So I have 30 and I have 36. So 30 is six st stops of five stations each. And then I have one more train per stop. Let's look at my favorite overlay. I love this overlay. I wish I could make this into a dashboard because it's really nice. Uh, is there a search bank far here? Plastic? Oh yeah. Like this tells us everything we want to know. There are 30 stations. 30 of them are open. And 29, 27 of them have trains. Okay, that's a pretty good sign. I have 23 stations that request plastic. Out of those, there are 7 open and 10 trains are allocated. Everything we want to know is, is already in this location. This is brilliant. Uh, so plastic with this thing, I don't feel it's, uh, it's going to be a problem. At least uh, it's going to be better. But hello, blue circuits. My old friend, if I look at, oh, hello, panic. Oh, this, yeah, I saw this. Uh, this is a problem. We are simply out of sulfuric acid, even though we don't look like we're out of sulfuric acid, even though we built two more sulfuric acid here. Are they working? Yeah, they're working, but they're working slowly. Uh, I think they're working slowly because they're also still making a lot of petroleum here. No, a lot of... Uh, that's weird. Why is this not working? Oh, no. No. That's the reason. Oh, no. Okay. Well, <clears throat> someone really should fix that. Um, could I fix that? Yeah, I just placed them and then I thought I would be placing them correctly. All right. Well, uh, I'll fix that and then we, uh, we can proceed. So this is now fixed and then hopefully it should be consuming much faster. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, this is now also working. So good. How much sulfuric acid are we getting? Okay, now we're coming up to 1000 per second of sulfuric acid. That's what we want to see. Uh, 1000 per second. And we still have the other three that are still working. How about you? Yes, it's also pushing in here. And that was kind of one of the things that we saw. We saw that we were running out of sulfuric acid, but our new sulfuric acid has not really alleviated it because it's simply been too slow. So that is a problem. More oil coming in. I've also built one more oil. I have three oil stops. If we look at this point here, I have three of these stations that deliver oil and they're kind of modest, but it's... It's okay. Um, I think that's fine. I don't think I'm going to need very much of this oil. So I should be fine with this. And if I look at this, uh, this is working and ready. What about you? You should be coming up there with 1000 per second ish coming in. Then 86. What about the other one? Ah, look at that. This is being filled up. Now, obviously, it's never going to be filled up super quickly because the last one will just always be struggling a bit so this one needs 2000 at the rear and even though i can see that i have 19,000, it just doesn't really want to go into the back row just yet but it'll get there over time it'll it won't be a problem as long as we have enough let's get this one 98 and it's still this one this one still misses a bit more than 1000 this is okay all the first ones are done this one is the only one that's not done it's a 99,000, so only... It's less, there you go. You left. Great. And what about up here? Shouldn't this one also be ready? Oh, it's already ready. And it says zero of one. So there could be another another train coming in here, but there isn't. Uh, we only have three of these trains. And we have five stops. So that's something we don't really like. We wouldn't mind having at least one more. So let's build one more of those. Do I? Oh, that's a lot of. That's from 
ages ago that we had this. We needed to have to fill up this, so I'll just do that. So we clean up our inventory a bit. And let's get some... Get some new trains. There, four of these. I'll get a train. There. I'll get some fuel. And then I will get these wagons. One, two, three, four. Switch it to another sulfuric acid location. There. Right. So with that done, then let's take... Oh, take stock of the situation. All right. Let's, with all of these things that are running, we know the iron. Yes. The blue, that's because of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is going to be fixed now. It will. Plastic, we've also fixed that, so not a problem. Copper, I'm just going to pretend I don't see that the copper is an issue. So that's, uh, yeah, I'm going to present that. This is a gigantic problem. I'm at minus 36 iron loads. That is a problem. So that means there's definitely things that are not working. And that's going to be the next thing we want to fix. Because I'm going to do a benchmark. I'm going to be standing right here. Exactly this, fully zoomed in. And then we're just going to let the game stabilize for a bit to see what kind of uh, of updates frames we're getting. So we are looking at, let's call this 37. 37 frames updates per second. Oh, no, just to 38. Well, that's super inconsistent. Let's call it 38 then. What's 37? All right. All right. We know that that limit is. There. So what I want to do is I want to do three things. I want to kill all the biters. I want to prevent biters from spawning and I want to disable pollution because pollution doesn't serve a purpose when there is no uh, no biters. That will free up a lot of calculations in basically if we look at all the way out here like these are doing pollution is doing calculation here all the time and they're keep doing sort of calculations of pollution is spreading out here getting absorbed and what's the value they will generate more biters and as it generates more biters they'll form up attack force and all of that stuff and all it does is like that nothing a whole lot of nothing so at this point it's completely irrelevant it'll also allow us to instead of being like spending five episodes on uh, expanding down here then it'll just mean that we can just expand down there because we don't have to also kill all the biters and as soon as we start sh shooting here it'll be bad so we go back to our baseline that one is here we'll just let it sort of settle so what i'm going to do is i'm opening the console command and then i'm executing some commands that i prepared these are also uh, i can link those in a comment below uh, if i remember if i don't then yell at me in the comment section and i will add them and then i'll go into the game that one so what I did now was I have now stopped map generation from making new biters. So the map now no new biter nest biters will be created. Um, that means, for example, when I discover a new tile up here, it cannot have biters in it. Then that was one thing. Oops. And the next thing. Oh, I copied in game. That was not what I wanted. There. And then this one is. Game player surface, key, entity, players, blah. Surface novice, entities, filtered, force, enemy, kill, destroy, entity, destroy. There you go. Anything on enemy force, destroy. That's it. And the last thing, because now that there is no point in having pollution, let's also uh, remove the pollution. So that frees up some calculations as well. If we go out, look at pollution, there is no pollution anymore. If we look at this one and let's just let it stabilize, we went from 37, 38 to 45. So we just got eight more frames. Woohoo! Eight more frames per second. Even 30, 46. Yeah, eight, nine. Let's let's call it eight to nine uh, updates per second. Is or uh, is is what we recovered. I think that is pretty damn good. And of course, if you go all the way out and you tap all of your overlays then sure it's not really going to be perfect uh that, that's kind of how it is so that was uh that was something that was definitely needed to do there's all now blue science is a uh, yellow science is not problematic anymore but blue science is why is blue science huh that's weird why is blue science not keeping up all right i just keep 
getting distracted by this, right? Hmm. Is that that could just be ah uh, yeah 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 it's it, it's just a let's say happenstance. This one just came in, got filled up, and this one is barely at the next level. This one is at the next level, and this one also just got in here. Okay, so as soon as we have this one at thirty-two thousand, then this will, it will be, the blue one will be removed from this level. So I think that is sort of like a momentary dip, but not actually a real problem, I think. Although it does kind of worry me a bit if it's not keeping up. So that's 30, 32. So now we have, we should have one blue out here. Yes. Blue is fine. Perfect. So blue is no longer a problem. Sulfur, sulfuric acid is definitely still a problem. Plastic is still a problem. If we look at it, so plastic is going to take quite a while to actually uh, get started because these trains, it's only when they start filling up that it's actually going to sort of warrant them um, extra or uh, even be visible that it's extra in the network. I also think that we have maybe forgot to put in the last part. Hold on. Did I forget that? That's kind of this part here, yeah? I might be forgetting this. There. All right, by us get up uh, by the trons, or then I might also have forgotten that at one of the other ones. Let's have a look at this. Yep, this one's there. And where is number five? I wish we could search for number five. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. There. That one. It also forgot this. Huh. And that might actually be... Where are all my trains? Where are my plastic trains? I don't have enough plastic trains. I should be having full plastic trains here. Why not? Plastic trains. I have 37 of... 30 stations full. Yeah, but this one, oh, this is one of one. Okay, so it is inbound. This is one of one. It is inbound. This is zero of one. It's not inbound. This is zero of one. It's not inbound. And this is zero of one, not inbound. Definitely need more trains for this. Um, here. Let's throw in another couple of plastic trains. All right, this one, these two are no longer able to go up because there are no open locations. So we, I'd, I'd say we're almost uh, reaching the right, right level, but there should always be one assigned to each. They might not be sitting in here, uh, sitting in here waiting, but they should never have a situation where it says zero of one out here by the train limit. It should always be one by one, one on one. So that there's always something going in. And the same with this. This is going to be the least likely one to have it. So if this one has one of one, that means at least there's a train station coming in. And I don't want this one to fill up beyond what can be put into a train. So we want the, all of this going. Uh, that might be very much the one we want. Nope. Uh, the same is going to be the case for the coal trains, which might be the next one to set up or get some more things for. Uh, let's get another train supply i like this train loader this it didn't seem like it was important but man have i used it a lot yeah this is this is really hard for me to see if this is how much of this is a genuine problem i think i have to assume that plastic is not a problem i have to assume that sulfuric acid is not a problem i have to assume that the blue circuit issue is based on sulfuric acid so if all of them have sulfuric acid then i should still be having enough yes uh, i'm gonna check the other ones here you were the one who did not have sulfuric acid before, but you do now. Okay, so now I'd say sulfuric acid has been filled up into this. Let's see, confirm the last two. There and there. All right. So none of the sulfuric acid stations are using sulfuric acid. 
Yes, zero stations open here. Zero stations open, one is assigned. That means this one is just unloading and then it'll be either standing or go back. While if I look at this, there are now three stations that are uh, two stations that are open and four stations assigned. It says standing and standing while it's say waiting. Waiting means it's being loaded. Standing means that it has loaded and it's now waiting just to go out. Now that means sulfuric acid is no longer a supply, a, an issue. Great. That, oh, did green circuits just pop up? No, and that's because of the iron. So what we really need to do is now do a hard push for iron. And uh, what we need to do as well is figure out out here. I think it's time for us to expand and I think I want to expand southbound. Um, if I look down here, this is a good one, 38. And here's a good one, 54. And I thought I had one more. Really? Only that? Also out here would also be a good place to go. Uh, but if I out expand outwards, then I have to expand outwards in both directions. But look at that. 35, 25, 53, 70. Oh, wow. That's a lot of iron out here. Okay. I'm going to be expanding down here. There. That's the artillery range. I love this one. Just this uh, blast out here. Once we've done this, we are definitely going to, or not, we definitely, uh, yeah, we probably, not definitely, but probably going to remove the artillery. Well, we are removing the artillery because there's no point in it. You can see that everywhere it actually drags lines. These ones are not drawing the lines yet. I hope this is just a, it's not drawing it or that it's been in vain. Uh, I think it might be just a, Oh yeah, yeah, look at the entire map, it's grayed out. We can't see a damn thing on the map because the, the map is uh, stressing out about all the stuff it has to uh, to draw. So we're gonna wait for this one to go out here and then we should sort of see map update coming along soon. Yes, please. That's weird. That seems a bit, uh, see, we can't see anything if we zoom in because we don't have radio coverage. While we uh, wait for this one to update then it was there was a point that someone made okay here come um about removing all the radar coverage except for the surrounding i'm never going to do that i don't care about how many updates it would free up i'm not going to do that this i i cannot have a base that i can't see it uh it, I'm, I'm not going to be flying blind for this it's, it's absolutely not going to happen there we go and map update great so after this one is done then we can start doing piecing this in between all of these points and then we can just continue continue to do this until we have everything is visible again here we are this is now being redrawn another more lines coming in <clears throat> and then we can continue on this let's have a look at how much iron we actually get we get one two three four five ninety seven that's actually not much. Where's my iron? I need more iron. Okay, let's uh, blast some more out here and see if we can we can find some more stuff for us. And so with this area clear, we get a much cleaner perspective on what we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine iron patches, ten iron patches. Okay, so ten iron patches, definitely enough. Also, when it comes to oil, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten oil patches. That's going to be potentially ten more plastic. <clears throat> it's just getting a sense of do we have enough here? Yes. And the answer is absolutely we have enough. Now, I don't think I want to do the same pattern out here as what I've already done. Um, I also don't know if I want to expand to all other locations. We could be in problem when it comes to power, but yeah, we are actually in problem in in trouble power issues. It's as it so happens, and expanding solar is well another thing that needs to be done. Um, so I think that I think I wanted to expand solar upwards. Continue to do that. I think that's the most sane thing to do. What I will do then is basically remove the the area around, like all of the trains and all of the radar. All these turrets, they don't serve a purpose at all anymore, so 
Why even keep them? I can use them for exploration, but uh, exploration also enables new chunks, and no new chunks means more calculations, so I don't want to do that. Let's go all the way in. We're at 43. Uh, yeah, 44, 45, 46 even. 46 uh, frames. Yay! Can't believe we're celebrating 46. But hey, it's a big base. So uh, what I do is I'll uh, remove all of this, and then uh, we are sort of uh, clean away from this. Um, yeah, let's do let's do that so we see if we can recover any kind of <clears throat> resources from that. We're going to start from this location. Look at that. We were up to 48 frames. Look at that. 48 uh, updates. And that means we have now no longer any defenses around. And I got to say, that's all I can do in one episode. Because that was a lot of things. Like uh, we did extra stone, extra sulfuric acid, extra plastic and removed all of the perimeter as well as discovered all that so that is definitely enough for one episode thank you very much everyone for joining for following for supporting for commenting and uh, of course particular thanks to the supporters on patreon thank you very much for supporting this series and supporting me and the work i do here all of the templars uh, are the ones who keep this series going so thank you very much for that until next time take care and as always stay effective